presentations. Okay. But you're, you're opting in. So if you want it, we can do it. <coughs> I'll film my own stuff just because that's how I approve. More importantly, I will be filming the tutorials, posting them on YouTube, so everything that you see up here, you'll be able to download and look at and review in case you've missed something. Because there's a lot of things that I go over, I'll go over them pretty quickly, but you can definitely download them so you can look and watch them over again. So, let's do this. Turn off your monitors so that you can follow along. <coughs> however you downloaded the images, however you got those images, whether the JPEGs, TIFFs, however you create stuff, your plans, your perspectives, when you scan them in, you can scan them in any number of ways. You all presented in that short amount of time, which I think was a pretty short amount of time for you to put something together, whether it's PowerPoint or what have you. Here's a quick, down and dirty way to do that. So these images, a bunch of still images that are whatever they are, whatever you downloaded, Again, they could be scans of your projects, it could be um, perspectives that you draw, whatever they might be. Get them into the computer electronically. Here's the easiest way to put them together. Quick extra credit, classwork. If you can recall back to my presentation of the idea, there was a story, but there was something else that added an effect. Can anyone pinpoint what that thing was? that added to the story. Maybe like, oh, Go ahead. maybe like the timing? Timing, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, how fast, okay, good. You mean the one that you just, you did, okay, yeah, yeah. you dropped the paper and it. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, oh, the, which one are we talking the about? <laughs> one we just watched on screen, the um, oh. power consumption and greed and all that stuff, yeah. Maybe switching from black and white to color. Okay, yeah, so some effects there. Transitions. Transition. PowerPoint does them, we all know we can do them, but they're pretty hard to kind of sometimes get to, but that can help and affect how your story is told, as you saw there, right? The transition between black and white, from color to no color, to any of the number of other transitional effects. So you can definitely do it in PowerPoint, and here's, like I said, down and dirty, easy way to do it. Get your images, however you want to get them in there. Highlight them all, select them all, right click, Combine supported files and Adobe after that. That's the key word, supported files. So <coughs> most files are supported, but when you do this, you'll find some files that you might download from the web or you might um, find someplace else, even Word documents work. But the key is, however, the thing that you're looking to combine into a presentation needs to be supported in Acrobat. Most things are. Simply highlighting them, combine them, here they are. You can continue to drag and drop more files as you add them or arrange the word that you want. So you can find more files and drag them into this window. You can take this one, move it up, move it in the order of which you want to place things, if you like. Combine files. Adobe Acrobat does its magic. It's combining them, it's converting them, it's putting all of this in one fell swoop. So I'm gonna, and then, there it is. Right over here on the left hand toggle is the thumbnail view. If I open this up, it gives you, and right here I can <coughs> drag and open this up so I can get more images on the page. There are all those images that I've now just placed into this. I can take this image, drag it to there to change my story. What do I want to say first? So I'm going to start with this image. I can move this image over to here. For the most part, all of your options are right here, options. I click on that, there are my options. I can rotate pages, I can crop pages. I can reduce and enlarge, so if I reduce the thumbnails, it makes them smaller, so if I have 100 images, I can make them smaller, I can move things around. And again, by opening or closing this, right, I can see more or less of my slideshow story. And then, the magic is page transitions. So right now, currently, it's no transition. There's a whole bunch of quick down and dirty, not the really uh, formal ones that I did in the film class, but there's some simple ones like glitter. You can do all pages of the document. You can do selected pages. You can do between this page and this page. Between two and three, I want these to be I want to show you what it looks like really quickly under all page documents. The shortcut for full screen, 
in Acrobat is Control L. And there it is. So I've now created the slideshow with as you guys are all doing, right? There are some simple transitions, but there they are. And you can play through them. I made escape right here again under back guy. Page transitions, glitter, I can choose the direction, I can choose the speed, slow, fast, medium. I can change different things. I can do any number of different things that I would like to add to my transition. A very quick down and dirty way. So once again, to the call, control L, shouting at the camera so it gets it. Control L, camera, is a shortcut to get to, to the full screen mode. And there, I just, I just changed the transition, so that's what that is. Questions, does that make sense? So that's the tutorial I'll send on how